Hi, this is Julie Jordan Scott, Creative Life Midwife, and I am so thrilled to be here for day three of Five for Five Brain Dump. This has been a fabulous virtual retreat so far. I'm back in Hart Park in Bakersfield. Believe it or not, it's about 106 degrees out here. The peacocks are keeping me company, so if you hear kind of a strange sound that you're unfamiliar with, it might be a peacock talking. So we're talking today about being supported being supported. Yesterday we talked about nesting or a foundation. Today we're talking about, that's a peacock, um, we're talking about the supports and how you feel supported on your journey, on this retreat, in your writing. And so our prompt is literally, I feel supported when, and I don't feel supported when. These are creatively, by the way. I feel supported creatively when, I don't feel supportive creatively when. Now, why do we even care about these? Twofold. One is when we know when we feel the most created, we can create that ourselves and we can ask those around us to support us in that creation. Um, it's like uh, you might have heard the story about when you um, are saying a prayer or writing a letter to the universe. It's like when you go to a restaurant, and you hold a menu and you keep sending the waiter back no, I don't want that, I want this instead. No, I want that, I want this instead. No, I'm not sure what I want. No, I'm not sure what I want. No, I'm not clear what I want. You never get what you want. You never, you never even tap into that feeling. You, you can't get that excitement, that clarity, that blissed out because you're not sure what makes you blissed out. So this might take a few tries. This might take a few go rounds and that's okay. That's what's so fun with these prompts is you can go back as many times as you need to. So I know I will be going back and you can see that process in my blog post, which I'm linking below. Whew, so let's take a deep breath. Oh, and your writing tip. Let me give you a tip today. It's from none other than Emily Dickinson. Here we go. I want to teach you a trick I learned from Emily Dickinson. Yes, Emily Dickinson, the 19th century poet. She taught me a lot about word choice and about letting go of trying to get that perfect, absolutely perfect word. So let me show you what she did. Many of Emily's poems have several versions because she would try one word and then another and then another, and then another. She didn't worry about getting it perfect. So this morning when I was working on the prompt for the day, I couldn't figure if I wanted, to, I wanted to say hurt, but I'm like, nah, that doesn't work. And then I thought, is it disappointed? Mm, sorta. How about lonely? Do I feel lonely? Yeah, I kind of do. Maybe we could ask that peacock over there which word he prefers. Peacock, what do you think? Meanwhile, there's an absolutely beautiful woodpecker over on that tree. So while the peacock and the woodpecker are busy with their duties, we're going to talk about how you feel supported. Your prompt today is... Let's take some deep breaths. Nice deep one in. Let it out. Our prompt, I feel creatively supported when. And then the converse. I do not feel supported creatively when. Breathe that in. For clarity's sake. I do not feel supported creatively when. Breathe it in. I feel supported creatively when. And out. Now in your five minutes, you may ping pong back and forth between these two, which is good. My only request is that you end with feeling supported. So I feel supported creatively when. I don't feel supportive creatively when. I feel supportive creatively when. You get what I'm saying? And then at the end, as usual, we'll end with gratitude. If the time runs short, it's okay to take a few extra minutes to finish up. It's totally okay. There's no wrongs. There's just writing. <laughs> All right. So one more breath and then it will send, send you on your writing way. Here we go. Please begin to write if you haven't yet. And continue writing at the peaceful scene that comes up next.
continue writing until you hear me to switch into gratitude. Actually, in this case, I'll ask you to switch into the affirmative and then into gratitude. Please take the next 30 seconds to write in the affirmative. I feel creatively supported when I. I feel creatively supported when. 
And in about 30 more seconds, we will segue into gratitude. Now it is time to write gratitude. What are you grateful for? Are you grateful for something you've uncovered or discovered during the writing time? Or are you simply grateful in general? Either of those will do. We'll take this for about 30 seconds. And at the end, if you haven't heard my voice again, simply write grateful, grateful, I am grateful on the page. Thank you so much for writing with us today. You may stop writing now. There is a bit of an assignment or bonus assignment at the end of the video. Otherwise, you may turn it off and go about your day. Feel free to return to the video at any time if you'd like to fine tune it. I know that I might. In fact, I know that I will. Thank you for being a part of 5 for 5 Brain Dump. So here's a little bonus for you, which you may or you may not take. And that is, how about asking someone for some support today? How about asking someone to support you the next time you need it? Say, look, I did this regular exercise and uh, I realized that I feel really supported when, and I realized I really feel hurt and discouraged when, be sure to put creatively in there. I messed that up. But I feel discouraged creatively when... A good one to start that with is, I don't know, I don't know if you know that I feel discouraged creatively when people say, instead of, I feel really discouraged creatively when you, blah, blah, blah. So a really kind way to say that is, I don't know if you know how when people action I feel discouraged creatively. Something like that, okay? <laughs> and praise those who always make you feel encouraged. Praise those who make you or help you or come alongside you and make you do even better. Ah, oh, it's such a good season. Tomorrow we're going to talk about being rooted, deeply rooted in our writing. Thank you so much for writing with us. I look so forward to writing with you tomorrow. Another peacock sound. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks so much for being here with me. The world is waiting for your words. Let's get them on the page now.